everybody, it's Debbie here and welcome back to my Crafty Den. So I have just created this cute little um, country style framed 3D picture and it's got a, um, a definite farmhouse or cottage country feel to it, which is perfect for where I live and my decor. And if you would like to see how I created this, then just keep watching. Because the first thing I did was I took a piece of this um, craft card stock. I have a bunch of it in my stash. And I cut it down to 8 by 10 because that's the size of the frame. And I... Sorry, I was just trying to get a piece of elastic out of the way. Um, and I put some double-sided tape, the half-inch double-sided tape, around the outside edge. So now I am going to take a piece of the... Let me get a piece out of the package here. A piece of this burlap. Now this is the 12 by 12 sheets of burlap that I hauled from Dollarama. And I am going to lay this on my cardstock and just put it down. And then that way I can just turn this over and use my scissors and trim around the outside edge of this. Um, and it will be nice and even. Because even though this is cut to 12 by 12, it doesn't exactly have square corners. <laughs> um, yeah, you wouldn't want to put a square on it, that's for sure. So I'm just, because I've got the double-sided tape on there, it's really easy to cut around. And I don't have to draw a line on it or anything, I just have to trim it out. And the double-sided tape works great to hold it in place. You don't have to use a bunch of glue. Um, yeah, none of that stuff. It's just, it works really awesome, to tell you the truth. So, so get this all trimmed out. This is such an easy project. So there you have it. And because I used the craft colored cardstock, it's the same color as this burlap. Put this down nice and flat. And there you have it. There's your surface ready to go for your frame. There. Now I'm going to take the glass and I'm going to put the glass in the frame, but I'm going to put it behind the jute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my frame and put it down. I'm going to lift up this glass because I want to use this frame for another project after Christmas. So I'm just going to put this in here and then to get it the right size and fit, I'm just going to put the glass back in. That way the there's a little bit of damage on the back of this frame after I took it out of the package. Um, so I'm going to leave the glass in here because I don't want to lose the glass. And I am going to stand this picture up. So I'm going to leave this back piece on. If you were going to hang it from your wall, you could probably take that off. But I'm going to leave it on because these are going to go on a side table. See, that, that's where this little metal piece was on this side, but that's okay. So there I have it. My jute is on the front, like this. And I am going to put something nice and festive on the front of here. So this is kind of what I'm thinking. I hauled these deer. I hold these ones as well. Like I've got the two different kinds of gold, but this has got a silver edge on this frame. And I, this is kind of like a silver, it's like, um, it's not quite rose gold. It's almost like a champagne color. So I'm going to put, which one of these is, there's two of them on here. And this one's missing a teeny tiny little bit of glitter right there. So I think I'm going to cut this one off and my scissors. My goodness. Um, 
I'm just gonna cut that tag off right there and then cut see the little loop right there I'm going to cut it off Sorry, I'm not in frame for this, but that's, it was a little hard to, I had to get my scissors in there. So I'm going to put this right in the middle, like this. And then I hauled these stickers, and I was playing around with them earlier. So I think, I think I'm going to put, I love these wood grain kind of stickers on this burlap so so pretty maybe put this down a little wee bit put this up a bit and this up in this corner I went that straight I think. maybe down a little wee bit on this side I've got this cardinal that I really really want to add in here And this little poinsettia. Maybe just down here like this. Maybe just like this. I want it to be really plain, really simple. Something you can set on a nightstand or a... Um, Or a side table, you know, something an end table, or I like these snowflakes. How about that? So I'm thinking that I'm just going to hot glue these in place. I love this. I love how simplistic it is. I just, yeah, I really, really love it. The other thing that I was thinking of doing... All these gold sparkles are a little bit different from each other, though. This one might go on a different project. That one would probably be... Yeah, I like this the way it is. I'm not going to change my mind. <laughs> I do that so, so often. So I've had my hot glue gun heating up. I hope it's hot enough. And I've got two more of these snowflakes, though, so I may be able to just... That one there, and this one here, maybe. Yeah, like that. So, let's glue these down. First off, I need to, his ears touch, and his hips. So here, here. And some here, just a little. And then he should stick down there fairly good. So let's get him nice and centered. And then just push him into spot. There. He's a little wee bit offset centered. Not quite, like I mean if I measure from here to here and here to here, it's not the same. But this part here, the tall part of the deer is in the center. So that's good. I think that's stuck down. And then I am going to give these all just a little help. So let's set them aside there. So let's put this piece down. There, I need another glue stick. So this is a fairly easy project. Like, this is just some stickers. This is just sticking things together. It's really, really simple, actually. I like that. It goes with this. And then offset with a little bit of red here, here, and here. I think that's well spaced out. So 
So I'm just putting a little glue on the back of all of these and and just tapping them down a bit so that they're because I don't think they'll stick. There's too much of this like look at you can see the see how the hairs from the burlap from the jute they stick on the back. So this one. And then I'm just going to put a little dab on and a little dab on this one. Then do the same thing up here. A little dab. Move this over a little bit. Little dab. And then this one down here. Yep, I knew I was going to need that glue stick. There. So that's it. I really think that's cute. Just absolutely adorable, and it'll look awesome on a little side table. So, so pretty. I love the whole country theme. Um, add a little burlap to just about anything, and you're going to have a farmhouse or a cottage-style country decor. This would do for either one. This would be great for a cottage decor absolutely wonderful so it's simple and then really nice thing about this is i can take the back off of this pull this out and put it away reuse the frame and then next year i can just pop this back into an 8x10 frame so this frame could potentially be used over and over and over again in this way because I could use it for all the different seasons as long as I keep the little pieces to switch them out. So I do another one. Look at these frames. The, the Dollar Tree frames are kind of funny. There's two extra of these little bits in the back and I'm going to keep them because I know there was three extras. <laughs> I'm going to keep them because I know there was a piece missing out of one of the other frames but like that last project I did. I'm going to bend these up and take this out. I am going to use my glass just like I did that last one. And this is how I cut the this is how I cut my size out. I just take my glass and put it down here and then and then throw it on my paper cutter. So no tedious measuring or anything like that. Um, because, you know, I'm not all about that stuff. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that would be just too easy, measuring. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to cut this one first because then I can, I have another whole piece of the cardstock that I can use for another frame that size and then I'm just going to go like that. So I'm going to, I have from that same 12 by 12 piece of burlap that I just used, I have, whoops, I have these pieces left and I think I can cover this, get it on the right side. I think I can put these two pieces together to cover this so that you won't even hardly be able to tell that they're cut. I'm going to do it anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is use, I have this half inch. Do I have any wider? No, this is the widest one I've got. So I have this half inch. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cardboard and set it on here. And then here and here, I'm going to lay a couple of rows of this. And then peel it off, rub it down really good, and then peel it off, yeah, 
don't peel off now. Um, just like this. Get that off of there. Flip those up to the top. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to lay it right up here like this and press it down. And then I'm going to take this piece. It doesn't matter which side is which, I wonder. And if I can line this up, actually, I think what I'm going to do is take my scissors and then trim this right on. You can see the little lines in the jute, so you can see the little lines. I'm going to trim it right along one of those little lines so that I know that it's perfectly straight. Just like that. And then I'm going to line this up with this and push it down. Let's see if I can get it together. Just like that. And I'm hoping when I cut this out that that won't hardly show. Just like that. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to cut this out. It's easier if you have that tape around the edge like I did with the last one. But I can still do this. This way. I'm going to put a little piece of tape on there to keep that from flopping. Just, whoops, just like that. Yeah, really crooked, Debbie. There. There, it's going okay now. So I have this and I can stick it back in the frame and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the last one. It's so simple. Put this in first. Oops, I missed a little piece. There, so put this in first and then set your glass in so that it's got a nice sturdy backing and it'll hold it into place. And then put the back on. Easy peasy. And this one's going to be so, so simple because I am going to add these snowflakes, these gold snowflakes. They're so, so pretty. Cut this part off like I did with the deer. You don't need that little circle there because we're going to hot glue these down and they're not going to be so I'm wondering two of them would two of them fit two of them won't fit but one of them will fit and they're very pretty so I'm going to take so the, there's a stone on both sides a gemstone so I'm going to take the gemstone and I am going to peel it off this side. I just decided to pick, pick, pull it off the side. Maybe not this one. I think there was one. Oh, well, look at there. This one already has the stone missing off the back. Um, there it is when I dumped them out of the package. So this is going to go just like this right in the middle. And that's all I'm going to do with this one. So simple. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on these ends. So that 
it'll stick down. There. Stick it down. So I think this is really pretty. And it'll look really nice with the deer that I just did. I'm not exactly sure where they're going to go yet, but they'll make a great set, won't they? I can get them all in the frame here. But yeah, I just think they're going to be really pretty. So by all means, um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and share. Let me know what you're thinking. And um, by all means, if you're not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So bye-bye for now, everybody. And I will see you in the next video.